Hey everybody, Thrift Store Hacker back again, and today we're going to do a quick oil change on this vintage Briggs & Stratton engine that I have here. First, I'm going to check the model number here on the side of the block. You can get most of the tech manuals for the old Briggs motors on their website. We see this one's a 6 horse at 3600 RPMs with 9.25 pounds of torque. The oil drain plug for this engine is right on the side of the block, so I'm going to hang this over my workbench and let the oil go into the drain pan there. If I'm lucky, I can catch it with a funnel and an old pop bottle. So let's give it a go. So whoever put this on last put it on a little too tight. So I had to get the rubber mallet out and give it a give the wrench a few taps just to get the uh, drain plug to start turning. But uh, after about a quarter turn, it started turning. And it seems fine. You can loosen it with your finger after that. Time to undo the drain plug and let that gross oil drain into the container. I got a pretty good long pour going on right now. We're going to be using only the finest oil that the dollar store had. Uh, they had these containers at 1030 in a uh, like a half quart bottle. So I grabbed about five of them. I don't know how many it's going to take, but we'll find out. Since it's about empty now, I'm going to use this bottle of clean oil that I have extra. I'm going to dump it into the crankcase and just kind of flush out the bottom of the crankcase and get any debris or junk that's collected down to the bottom of there and flush it out with this oil change. It'll keep the oil cleaner. I'm going to take a quick look at the old oil here. It doesn't look like there's any metal shavings or anything in there that indicates a problem. So that's good, but just need some new oil. Now that we emptied all the old crankcase oil out, we can start filling it back up again. Make sure you have the drain plug back on and tight. And I think it's going to take about three of these bottles to fill this engine up. Some of these engines will have dipsticks on the end of the oil fill cap, but this one doesn't. So the rule with these is you want to fill them with oil to just about the bottom of the uh, threads inside the oil filler hole there. I don't know if you can see that with the flashlight. If your engine has an oil bath air cleaner, you're going to need to uh, empty that out, clean the debris out of it, add fresh oil to the level line, and connect everything back together. And there you go. It's just that easy to change the oil in one of these old Briggs motors. doesn't require a lot of tools or any special training. Well, I hope you liked my video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, build stuff, have fun, and stay safe.